he just had to put that photo on the fridge. It, lit- it was like some Pavlov's dog shit. Like, whenever I saw that photo, I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. Is it gonna, is it gonna happen again? Right there, this is not happening. I'm your host, Roy Wood Jr. Come with me. Did you know that nobody knows where cigar smoking even comes from? They say the Northern Amazon, back in the day. Ayahuasca ceremony, stuff like that. Hey, he's married. With a good cognac, you can enjoy any cigar. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, you didn't. Oh no, you didn't. Oh no, you do know the origins of crack cocaine. Roy, we got a 211 in the panic room. Oh, hell no. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> Good dog. You can check him out on the series Disjointed. He is Tone Bell. A couple months ago, a friend of mine called me. Called me. He had a question about being a father. My boy Derek calls me. My son's acting up in school. He's about to turn nine years old. And uh, time out ain't working. And I've been thinking about, I've never, you know, I've never spanked him, never gave him a whooping. But I'm, I don't know, man, it feels like timeout's not working. And he's like, you know, what do you think? You think, you think, I, should, you think I should spank him? I was like, man, I don't know if we're friends because um, I don't have kids, so. <laughs> I, have, I can't answer this question. I, I don't know. I don't know. But I did think about it. It made me think about it. So after we got off the phone, I called my dad. I called my dad, and I was excited to talk to him. I was like, dad, like, I just, my friend, my friend Derek called me. And uh, he was asking me about whooping, and it just made me think about the last whooping I got and, like, the most memorable one I ever got, okay? <laughs> and so I'm, I'm like, hey, do you, do, you remember, do you remember the last whooping you gave me? And he, I, he took a second. Oh, you know what? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know how you can hear somebody smile from the other side of the phone? <laughs> Because I knew the, the last one, because it's, it's, ingr- it's, it's, it's chiseled in my memory. I know exactly which weapon this is. And I was like, oh, the, 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 the chair, the chair. And I asked my dad, you remember the last one you gave me? He goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. The chair. And I was like, oh shit, you call it the chair too? <laughs> we got the same memory? <laughs> I was in sixth grade, I was in sixth grade. And it did, it, like it, 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 I can't say it ruined our relationship, but it definitely, definitely like it separated us a bit. And it's a weird, it's a weird thing, because like now, it's st- I mean, it's 20 years later, and still, it still separates, it still drove a wedge in between us. When I was 12, I was going to a new school, Augusta Elementary, Decatur, Georgia. And uh, I didn't know anybody. I, I was weird, I was like, I, I kind of was in this weird phase where like I was probably, I was just like, I was husky. I wasn't chubby, I was husky, right? I was uncomfortable with the gap in my teeth. I feel like I didn't have right, right haircut. I didn't, my parents couldn't afford like good clothes. So, like I was just like a, I had to be like some like jovial, like nice kid because I didn't have, I didn't have what other kids had. Okay? Get to school. I'm in Miss Dillard's class. She's not even a cool teacher. <laughs> the only thing about Miss Dillard's class that was good is this, this girl that I, like, I was in love with, Natasha. She's the only reason why I ever wanted to go to school. Beautiful. Even now, 30, 30 year old me is like, she was bad. <laughs> But I had a huge crush on her. The class everybody wanted to be in was Miss Jefferson. Miss Jefferson, redhead, probably 25. She was a cool teacher. She was a math teacher. Miss Jefferson had this little system in uh, an elementary school where, uh, you know, she had Jefferson, Jefferson Bucks in the Jefferson Bank. So, like, anytime you score, like, an A on a test or you, like, open the door for a little girl or, uh, or did something nice, anytime you were, like, cordial, did, this, did something nice, did something polite, you could earn a Jefferson Buck. At the end of the week on Fridays, you could take your Jefferson Bucks, buy candy, have extra, you know, extra time at recess or whatever you want to do. And so everybody, everybody that you wanted to earn Jefferson Bucks, okay? But I didn't have her every day, only the homeroom class had her every day. So the homeroom class was balling out of control, okay? <laughs> the homeroom class, I mean, they, they had her all the time, so they're just making bucks after bucks, okay? We, I'm, like, I'm making three, four dollars a week. <laughs> These motherfuckers rolling around with fur coats on, <laughs> tossing keys, valeting their shit. I'm like, we 12. I mean, it was a class system. You could tell who was better than somebody else. It was like they lived in the Capitol and we were District 12, okay? That's how, <laughs> that's how it felt. 
And I was like, I was like, this is it's enough. I can't, I can't take it. I can't take it. Like we're not getting enough. It's not fair. And so for weeks I devised this plan, and I was like, man, I need to rob the Jefferson Bank. <laughs> I'm not getting enough touches. <laughs> so I had this whole plan worked out. I was like, all right, I'm gonna go to lunch and I'm gonna leave the window cracked. Cause I sat next to the window. I left the window cracked just enough. The day came. Excuse me, can I go to the restroom during lunch? Hallways are empty. Hallways are fucking empty. I'm like, my plan is brilliant. <laughs> I slipped through the breezeway, opened the window, hopped in, closed it, robbed the Jefferson Bank, filled my pockets up went through the classroom door so I could be just be in the hallway like I'm coming back from the bathroom. Locked the door, turned around, who's standing there? Goddamn Natasha <laughs> standing right there. She's the only other person in the hallway. Looks at me, what you doing? Huh? <laughs> what you doing in Ms. Jefferson's class? I'm like, I wasn't in Ms. <laughs> huh? <laughs> she goes, what's that? I look down, it's Jefferson books popping all out of my pockets. <laughs> What's that? I'm like, nothing. You stole from Miss Jefferson. No, I didn't. Oh, what's that? I'm like, God damn it. And she was like, I'm gonna need some of that. <laughs> and I had to give it to her. I had to give, I had to give Natasha hush money. <laughs> so I emptied my whole left pocket, just gave it to her. Hey, be quiet, okay? You didn't see nothing. Take the money and go. <laughs> Go start a new life. You can do whatever you want to with this money. It's like, the, it's like that last scene and set it off. Just go away. <laughs> By the end of the day, she had told everybody. Yeah. Told everybody. She got in trouble, I got in trouble. They called my dad. It was about to be over. I remember like, oh, fuck. you know, like that, 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 I, I knew the woman was coming. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. I decided to walk home. I was like, I'm gonna get some fresh air. <laughs> It was about a mile and a half walk. I didn't take the bus. Everybody knew, so I didn't want to, I didn't want to get teased on the bus. And uh, I got home and I was like, you know what? If I got three hours left to live, I'm gonna just do whatever I want to do. And this is, I'm 12 years old, so you gotta imagine like, I just went, I just, I just got like, I got a bowl of ice cream. I went upstairs, I'm watching scramble porn and I jerked off. I mean, I beat my meat for hours, okay? Eating ice cream, watching, and I remember I was watching Sexual Outlaws. That's the name of this. <laughs> <That's the name. laughs> I, gotta, I gotta remember, I gotta look that up when I get. <laughs> I've never seen it without the scrambles. It might be a pretty good book, I don't know. <laughs> and I remember, I remember, um, I remember like going, up, going upstairs, eating ice cream, like tugging at it, going, I was going to work on myself. <laughs> No, nah, I was going to work. <laughs> Ran out of ice cream, going to get a refill. I go back downstairs. Go back downstairs, right in front of the refrigerator. There's a chair in the middle of the kitchen, right in front of the refrigerator. And I walk in, I'm like, <laughs> I didn't put that there. <laughs> I'm like, oh shit, who, somebody must be home. Go to the garage, nobody's, no, nobody's car. Mom, dad, nobody's car. Look in the driveway, nobody's car. Look down the street, nobody's car, can't see anything. Okay, I'm like, maybe it's the whole time, I just didn't notice the first time, okay? <laughs> Open the freezer up, all I hear is my dad's voice. You go on, close that. <laughs> you know what time it is. I close it, I'm like, how the fuck did you get in there? <laughs> go ahead and drop him. Drop my pants, I'm leaning over this chair. Lean over his chair, my dad goes to work. I mean, he takes out this belt. He's, I mean, wailing. I mean, it's not even legal what he did now, what he did then, okay? He's fucking going to work, going to work. I'm like crying. I'm like, it's, it's, even think about it now, like it still hurts. <laughs> and I'm just, I'm bent over, okay? I'm bent over, he's going to work. The chair was blue, had like a metal back, blue back, blue seat. It's one of the old school, like 70s chairs, okay? Going to work. He stops for a second. He goes, Tone, I turn around, I turn around. My father's standing behind me with a Polaroid. He takes a photo. <laughs> the 
just tears rolled down my face, my eyes are red. My dad was like, all right, all right, all right, all right. I was like, this, no motherfucker, this motherfucker was pre outcat It was ridiculous. That's the last woman I ever got. Last woman I ever got. Because every time I got in trouble after that, he never touched me again. He just had to put that photo on the fridge. It, li it was like some Pavlov's dog shit. Like, whenever I saw that photo, I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. Is it gonna, is it gonna happen again? And it was crazy. It was crazy, like, to, to we, he and I had never talked about it. We had never talked about it. And I was like, Dad, you don't even know, like, why I stole the Jefferson Bucks in the first place. I should have gotten in trouble. Yeah, you're not supposed to steal. I get it. He never knew why I did it. And I was like, Dad, I did it for this girl. I did it for Natasha. She told on me, whatever. The best part of it was years, like, years after that. I mean, this is probably, like, five years ago from today. I'm in Atlanta, my best friend from high school owns a strip club in Atlanta called Magic City, okay? Magic City. Very great, great wings. And uh, we, I mean, everybody from high school, we all meet there, because it's convenient. And uh, <laughs> I got a chance to tell my dad this. And I was like, dad, here's what's crazy about this whole thing. I was like, years later, I'm sitting at the bar in Magic City, and I have a beer in my hand, and I take a sip, and there's a girl dancing. And she's finishing up. And I don't know if you, you know, have been to a place like this before. <laughs> but at the end of a dance, you know, everybody's, you know, you collect your money. And this girl had a laundry basket. And she's like taking all, all her, you know, all her tips. And she's like putting them in the laundry basket to collect them. And then I catch, I catch a glimpse. I just catch a glimpse. And I'm sitting, I'm sitting there and I'm like, And I, and I walk up and she's like finishing up. And she goes, can I help you? And I go, I'm gonna need some of that. <laughs> it took me 20 plus years, but I got that motherfucker back. You know what I mean? <laughs> it was crazy, I'm trying to tell my dad this. I'm trying to tell my dad. And uh, I'm, like, I'm like, yo, dude, how crazy is that? How crazy is that? And he's like, huh, what? I was like, you didn't hear, you didn't hear none of that? And I, every time I talk to him about that, he always has me on speakerphone for some reason. He just talks to me on speakerphone, but I can hear shit in the back. He's like rummaging around. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? And then he just goes, got it. I was like, what about, he goes, I found the photo. <laughs> this whole time I'm trying to rekindle our relationship, you looking for the shit that broke us up? Uh, <laughs> that's it, guys. My name is Tone Bell. Hey, Dad, I love you, man. I appreciate it. Tone Bell, y'all. One more time for Tone Bell.